Hi, I'm Rich Brown, Senior Editor for CNET.com. Today we're going to take a look at the Dell Studio XPS 7100. So this is a mid-range performance PC, and this particular config has a fixed price. It's $1149, uh, at least until the end of July. And for that price, you get an excellent deal in a mid-tower gaming system. Uh, it comes with a Blu-ray drive, wireless networking, a 6-core AMD chip, as well as a very fast Radeon HD 5870 graphics card. It's not quite as fast as some other PCs in its price range in terms of uh, application performance, but for gaming, it's one of the best deals we've seen all year. And Dell makes a distinction with this system from its other uh, Intel-based Studio XPS models with the dark gray front panel. Now in the front, you get a media card reader up top. There's a Blu-ray drive here. This door slides down and you get a couple of USB jacks. And up top here, you get a little device tray uh, with a couple of USB ports and analog audio inputs as well. You can see the graphics card has got two DVI video outputs as well as HDMI and DisplayPort. Uh, because it's a Radeon card, you can do up to three displays at one time off of this single card. Uh, there's also a couple wireless uh, antenna jacks here for uh, wireless networking. And on the motherboard, you've got uh, digital audio output, uh, eSATA port, a couple USBs, Ethernet, as well as uh, 7.1 analog audio jacks. Uh, now missing are FireWire as well as USB 3.0. Uh, which is sort of a newer, faster uh, data input that we expect will become common probably by the end of the year, maybe into next year. Uh, so it's not crucial that it's on this system. There aren't that many devices out there that support USB 3.0. Uh, and FireWire is actually getting a little bit long in the tooth. Still, we've seen other uh, desktops that offer the whole gamut of inputs. So while there might be a few other inputs you could add, for the most part, Dell has covered its bases. So it's a little crowded inside the XPS 7100. Uh, there's a dual slot graphics card right here, that's the Radeon 5870. And you can see Dell has a nice thick bracket to uh, keep the card in place in shipping. That's a nice touch, but it also sort of blocks this extra hard drive bay. So Dell has expanded its typical design and added a second drive slot here behind the, drive, the hard drive you see right here. Uh, that's great, we're glad that you can add a second drive. Uh, we would still probably prefer it if Dell had faced the drives outwards, or like we've seen on some newer PCs, through the front. Sliding drives in through the front of the case makes hot swapping, upgrading, changing drives really simple. Uh, and we're hoping that becomes a standard as well. And there's a six core CPU here from AMD. Uh, and for expansion slots, there's the graphics card, wireless card, and then there's one standard PCI slot down here in the bottom. That's it. There's no second graphics card slot. Uh, really, room for upgrading is pretty limited. You can see the memory slots are all taken as well. So if you want an upgrade foundation, this might not be the config for you. That said, it's still a pretty great deal considering you get Blu-ray, wireless, as well as a super fast 3D card uh, for under 1200 bucks. So Dell says the price for this configuration will stay until the end of July. At that price, and with this specific feature set, this is an outstanding system. If the price changes, you might want to do some more comparison to see how it stacks up uh, to other PCs in the market. But for now, for any gamer looking for a mid-range performance PC, we absolutely recommend this system. So I'm Rich Brown, and this is the Dell Studio XPS 7100.